Welcome to Nisha's art classes. Hi, today we are drawing a girl by the seashore and as you saw that I am doing a real time photograph work into a painting and I'm using wet on wet technique to do the background work. Here you can see I'm using a bright blue sky uh, color to do my uh, sky and I'm adding as much as color I want till I get the desired effect and uh, I'm using the same uh, wet on wet technique throughout the painting and uh, as you can see here I got the very nice effect using a tissue paper to get the clouds in the sky which is a very rough uh, looking like uh, you know it's there but it's not there so I'm gonna keep working on it till the water gets dry working on the beach sheet for the mountains and going back again onto the cloud work now to get the right effect of clouds i am applying more water in the areas and then i'm dabbing the tissue over it and going forward uh, working on the clouds uh, i'll uh, keep adding some of the touches on the cloud side and now uh, focusing on the hill which is there I'm working on the shades of brown as you can see and then slowly gradually I'll be working on the shades of green as well so here as you can see that I am deliberately adding shades on the edges using uh, darker shades of green so that I have that you know the patch of green which is uh, around this hill area so that's how we are working on it and uh, we'll keep doing it the same way so this is like layers over layers you have to work on and keep adding more and more uh, color over there and we keep changing and adding you know a different tone of green to it wherever there, there is light and dark effect we'll just keep working on it and as you can see i'm just getting that uh, effect of the hill over it so now I'm doing the green, huge green patch which was there below the hill and as you can see I'm uh, using a, again my brush is uh, with enough water and enough color and just uh, defining the base with green and a little shade of black here and that looks the base. Now I'm gonna just work more with the colors here and defining the fine details uh, it will keep going on till you get the right effect on the hills on the bushes on the green patch which is there so it will keep going on so just stay along and keep doing have patience and that's how watercolor works and as you can see i'm using the fine tip brush now and dabbing it all over this can take a whole lot of time and I'm gonna crop this part because I'm showing the technique but then I have to just uh, uh, fasten up so that uh, you you guys can catch up and I'm just adding different shades of green darker green and somewhere I'm using black patches also so that it shows the light and dark effect mm -hmm. as well so you can see that right now working in the C part and uh, here again wet on wet technique and using a exactly the same shade which is there in the sky but onto the higher pigmentation side and applying it generously here and defining the different layers of water how it looks like from the shore so because you see the point of view of looking at this painting is from this side and then adding the turquoise green here or turquoise color you can say so hi, I made turquoise color with the mix of light green and light blue and this beautiful shades comes out and now doing the reflection part of the uh, hill in the water so this is how it looks like but uh, it's not very satisfactory because it's gonna dry and then it's gonna merge into the same shade of blue which is there so I'm gonna just keep working on to it so there are layers of work done here uh, which will be shown in the last but uh, you can uh, see how it's going so here uh, again uh, a very nice shade of uh, sand white sand because the sun is pretty bright here so i'm gonna show very light and 
uh, right sand here and the stones you can see the stone work was bleeding so I just have to rework on to it control it with a tissue paper so that's okay. that's a one pointer which I want to give it to you guys so when the wet and wet technique is used either use a hair dryer or let the entire painting air dry so that when you're working on the next layers of color it doesn't get bleeded or it doesn't get spread over the sheet so there is there are ways you can control it and i'll suggest you guys do that because i somewhere i messed it up but then i'm just covering my mistakes by doing more colors you can see that thank you for watching this is it thank you